Hello everyone, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be a daily tarot reading for June 28, 2018. So four cards spread, now let's um, go for the first card which expresses up the topic of that day and this is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. Then the second card is a, the a negativity or the negative approach we could take uh, uh, against the situation, challenges, etc, etc. That will be the Seven of Pentacles. Third card expresses up the positivity of the day, the uh, the positive things we could do, you know, the the um, the luck that we could have, etc, etc. And that will be the Ten of Swords. And the last card that expresses up the long-term benefits in case these couple of conditions are checked or they are kept uh, in regards to the topic that will be the page of sorts like this. All right, so uh, that will be a, a day of a breakthrough, if I may say it that way. So, we do have uh, the uh, Wheel of Fortune as a, a topic of the day, which uh, for uh, some of us, or maybe for the majority of us, it may mean a, a huge amount of luck. But the Wheel of Fortune has a, a much more profound meaning. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a, a card signifying a, a flow of events, <clears throat> which for some people of us, uh, should I say, they are coming as a uh, unnecessary burden or uh, as an unnecessary um, enterprises which are infiltrating our life in a certain sense. Uh, however, uh, only those who are very keen and clinch to their uh, routine and they have built up their routine into a strict manners and they don't like change are accepting those enterprises this way. Those enterprises which are going to experience today, those events which are going to happen around us, seemingly happening out of nowhere, may create a little bit of a chaos. But that day is going to be exceptional in the sense of that uh, if we accept that the chaos uh, that the, these events are going to inflict in our life is storm, we are going to be in the very eye of the storm, which means that we could take advantage of this particular chaos. And when that chaos is signified with the will of fortune, all right, or these events seeming happen, uh, happening seemingly out of nowhere um, are signified with the Wheel of Fortune. That means that we have the chance here in, in June 28 to take control upon our fate. All right, so that and that way, out our outcomes, which otherwise would have, uh, you know, uh, would have been decided in our disfavor. Um, repair broken friendships, broken relationships, if you may say it that way, or stabilize into our uh, working place, etc, etc. It is just um, these kind of events are going to happen, which are going to allow us, you know, to change the flow of, of events for the grand scheme of things. Now, this is as the theme of the day. And now we do have the Seven of Pentacles. And I want to uh, point people pinpoint a little, some things for that card here with that particular deck. This card is painted extremely wrongly in this deck. Now in any kind of traditional decks which are three decks, Druida, Tot and Rider Waite, um, the Seven of Pentacles always has uh, one pentacle uh, fell down from the branches, from the tree, signifying that something is going wrong. <clears throat> All right. While here in this deck, that card is painted like everything is awesome and this woman is kind of like, you know, happy of the fruits of her labor. And that is wrong. Now, when I go, no matter what deck I read with, I always stick to the traditions. So Seven of Pentacles. Thus points that even though we will be able to, uh, you know, take the fate in our control and uh, alter our outcomes, that card uh, kind of expresses the uh, high, uh, not, not exactly the high expectations, you know, but more likely the harsh action that we may take rather than to sit back a bit and... Um, you know, um, kind of analyze the situation. And even though we do so, it will be, um, how can I place it? 
It will be from a, a most importance to act in the appropriate time for the appropriate situation. So this card kind of comes as a double faced and uh, it does speak that the window of opportunity for us to exactly alter outcomes in that particular day is going to be very small. All right. And uh, we have to be kind of like uh, completely aware <clears throat> of uh, of the situation itself and not only about the situation but also the people that are surrounding the situation and this card points that the means are going to justify the results just because it falls into a negative position uh, whenever we kind of seize the moment we have to push extremely hard forward so we can actually kind of like bring down the wall that have been stopping us until this very day and that is kind of also explained here in the Ten of Swords falling into a, a positive position. When Ten of Swords falls into a positive position, it means that the time for a, a new era into our lives has came. However, this new era cannot happen without a revolution. All right? And that revolution needs to start taking place today. With that sense, Ten of Swords for a, a positive approach toward that situation means that we have to make some extreme decisions. We maybe have to take some extreme measures. I could tell you straight away one, um, let's say that um, someone is a, a victim of an abusive marriage and the radical decision here, the extreme decision is a, a file for divorce. All right? So you are taking back control upon your uh, faith and upon your destiny. So the Ten of Swords, it's, it's expressing itself in that way that we have been rather more decisive in that particular day and uh, rather more um, courageous as well to actually face those kind of situations and those kind of people which are backstabbing us, which are kind of depraving us from happiness and for some reason we are still involving ourselves with the situations or with the people that are around us etc etc but no longer because <clears throat> today at June 29th um, if not a, a material change we can reach a, a very vital it's not even a vital but important insight that is going to give us a, an understanding that the situation cannot keep on going any longer like this and we have to do something about it right and if we are milder with our approach that something about it will never can happen so and when we keep those uh, conditions in check and the long-term benefit here is the page of swords and the page of swords plays a role in this reading as a spring cleaning uh, it's an expression i like to um uh, I like to use. So uh, we're going to um, advocate ourselves from um, negative uh, experience, uh, from negative people and negative situations, deliberating ourselves from those, and as well being able to start experiencing life in uh, from a, a different angle and with a, a different face. So we can kind of like um, um, spuru our personality and not just our personality, but also our taste and sense for life itself. Uh, we will be able to be more happier Page of Swords is also about learning and experiencing new things as you are a part of them as well. So that card speaks that we will be able to also spruce our environment and to attract newness in our life, uh, but not newness as a material uh, gains, you know, or a material comfort. That will be a newness of um, uh, kind of like um, uh, of knowledge and of skills. Uh, in a sense of that if I gave you the example for the abusive marriage when uh, the woman or the ma or, or the man uh, kind of breaks through from that marriage afterwards they could start involving involving themselves with the new people you know and um, <clears throat> also learn uh, and obtain greater experience in one life. Same goes for one career. It is just we need to realize at June 28 that as long as we have breath in our bodies, our fate is our own. And no one possesses our life nor our fate. 
So with that being said guys, this was the uh, daily tarot reading for June 28, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I hope you are going to take what life presents to us today with a um, full fistfuls and you are going to feel your fistfuls, excuse me, with uh, that and you will continue on forward much more happier. So we're going to see each other around and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rod signing out now see you next time bye